or allow us as a family to at least give him drugs so that uh, it can relieve the pain he has uh, because he was complaining of headache. Um, he had some uh, some sore throat and uh, he was also complaining of general uh, weakness uh, uh, in his body. So as a family, we are we are very distressed and uh, we we urge uh, the government because the government has ways of finding uh, where he is to, to tell us as uh, the family uh, where he is so that we can be able to deliver the drugs. Thank you very much. So at what time did you learn of his disappearance? Uh, actually, I saw it on social media and uh, a few friends uh, called me at around uh, 3, uh, 3, 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, at that time, I was in office and I was working. So um, it, it really uh, disturbed uh, uh, my work through and what I was doing. Thank you very much. Moses Chilanga is my name. Today at about 3 p.m. I received a distress call from the family of uh, one Dennis Itumbi, led by the brother David here, that uh, in the Nikwa in Kiambu County, where he was having a, an air cut, he was abducted by three unknown persons and put into a white uh, Toyota car and whisked away to a known destination. The persons proceeded, led by the brother, to make a, to make a, a report of a missing person in the Ndiko police station. Thereafter, we were told that he's being held at Parklands police station, where we are now. We have come, we have talked to the OCS, we have gone to see the, the occurrence book that is it's not been booked here. But as you can see, uh, uh, this, when you make a call, you can actually find that his phone is going through. Having made a report of a missing person, it is always imperative upon the government to find out where is this person is and they have all the capacity, they have all the technological know-how to find out. And I was most near with uh, showing that his phone is going through and uh, it is uh, unfortunate that no one is telling us where he is. So it is incumbent upon the government to tell us where Dennis is being held, especially being told that at Kiambu and Tendekwa there was a police car nearby where he was being whisked away. So there is a reasonable inference by the family and the friends and total concern that he is in the police custody. And this is not the first time Dennis is being arrested. He's been arrested so many times. And this is not the first time we've seen in this country there is enforced disappearances. We believe that either Dennis is, uh, is being uh, whisked away or is being, his disappearance is enforced by the state and also even the recent occurrences. And also we have reason another belief that uh, being alone festive season, uh, people would want to hold him in custody for five days because the next court appearance is on 27th of uh, December. So he will be held in custody for a record four days. And thereafter, we, we are not just strangers to the fact that uh, the last court appearance, the state asked that he may he wanted to be held for further. So we're asking for the government that whoever is to trace whoever is holding Dennis, and if they are holding him, to tell us where he is, the Inspector General of Police, to tell us which police station is being held. Parklands are saying they are not holding him. Tindipo are saying they are not holding him. So any police station which is holding Dennis, please, Get in touch with the family so that they can give him the supplies as he said it's well. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. I think as you are aware we are at uh, the Parklands police station and uh, because of uh, today happenings in the afternoon where you believe that uh, the state agents uh, have facilitated the abduction of one thing is and uh, you are aware that uh, Dennis is uh, has always been for those of this time. He has always been peace, justice, and democracy in the country. And uh, we believe because uh, we have uh, met the OCS so we charge of this station, and he has confirmed to us that they are not holding. Dennis here, but we believe this is just a cat and mouse game that they are trying to play because uh, the eyewitnesses can confirm that uh, the people who picked him uh, are, we believe to be the state agents and uh, these are just enforced disappearances 
and these are just pure politics in a bit with Ndetelis uh, in Tunde because uh, as you are aware they just want to punish him because they want to hold him for five days because uh, the festivities are on, they just want to punish him and you know under the constitution and the law it is illegal to detain anybody arbitrarily or uh, that is why it is sad that we are going back to dark days where we have detention without trial uh, and punishing somebody without the recourse of the law. So uh, we are aware that uh, according to the reliable sources uh, that the police are holding him and uh, they should be honest and we want to appeal to the CS in charge of interior and the uh, Inspector General of Police that the power they given by constitution was not in a way to intimidate and blackmail and coerce uh, Kenyans like uh, Dennis in Tumbi. And I think this is very important that Kenyans should know that anybody who opposes the government, the only thing that the IG and CS in charge of interior will do is just to arrest you and intimidate you like the rest of us. And uh, we believe it is a orchestrated move to intimidate people who have a specific uh, affiliation, political and more so to the Hustler Nation. And you know very well that Dennis in Tumbi has been exposing the monkey business that the senior government officials have been doing uh, during this period. So we believe this is a political uh, vendetta against Denis Ntumbe, and we shall keep vigil and ensure that uh, he is produced. We want to challenge the government uh, that he must, they must produce Denis uh, Ntumbe by all means. And our lawyers, as you have heard, our lawyers are not uh, sleeping. We, we shall come and work with the family to work to every police station to ensure that uh, Dennis Ikumbi uh, uh, is produced. And it is also shocking that, uh, as you have heard from the brother, that he's unwell. I wish these uh, abductors would produce him so that we can, the family can give him medical supplies. And, and there is no problem. Uh, why is it that the police wanted to abduct him? You can nowadays, you can issue summonses. And uh, if they wanted, they, they thought Dennis had committed an offense under the law, why did they issue summonses to appear before DCIO? So this country is not a banana republic where somebody just wakes up one day and decides to make the law. And those people who are in these government offices that run the apparatus of interior and homeland security should be put on notice that their time is coming up and Kenyans will make a decision. And I want to warn them that it is illegal to abduct anybody. It is illegal to detain anybody without trial as per the constitution. And they might think now they have power. But in the next seven to eight months, I can assure them they will be they will serve their jail terms because you cannot violate the constitution and walk away scot free. That's why we have the constitution. If we didn't want to have the constitution, then we wouldn't uh, we wouldn't have the constitution in place. So we really and we want to call Kenyans of goodwill, uh, Kenyans that to pray for the family of Dennis in Tumbe. We want to we are keeping vigil. This should be a happy season. Should be a Christmas. Dennis should be spending with his family. You can see the family members are here. Every Kenyan has a right to celebrate with their family. But unfortunately, the police and the powers be and autocrats that are using, and you know the sad thing, my brothers and sisters, is that they are using our taxpayers' money to frustrate and make us suffer. But uh, it is so sad. But, but, but we, we shall soldier on, we shall turn together. And this issue of punishing by the state of anybody who supports William Ruta must come to a stop. Everybody has a right to support whoever they want. Why is it that they are punishing Dennis in Tumbe because of supporting the deputy president, Dr. William Bhutto? If they think, why don't they support their candidates without intimidating us? And as some of us no longer fear, they can use the bullet, they can use police station, they can create, and I want to hide them. Because they want to arrest everybody that supports William Bhutto, they should start building many, many police cells and prisons because they will need to put millions and millions of Kenya inside because if they believe that will stop the hustler nation movement. But Dennis, we want to tell you, wherever we, you are, we are praying for you. We, we shall keep vigil. And as a lawyer also, we shall work closely with a team and battery of lawyers to ensure that Dennis shall be released before the Christmas festivities. So thank you very much. Unless there is any other question. Uh, Santeni. Oh, 
Thank you.